All right, morning all. Welcome back to the channel. I had two ideas for a title on this. The first one was, can I fit an EMTB in the back of a Tesla Model 3? The other one was kind of running errands and deliberately making myself be short on battery, um, which would inevitably end me up at a supercharger. So we're gonna try that. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an EMTB, try and put it into the car, that's going to be another video altogether though, um, where I put the MTB in the car, go mountain biking in the hills, um, and yeah, how I use the car for mountain biking. But today the mountain bike's got to go off for a service, and um, it's going to be in for service for a week, um, because it's a year old now. But um, yeah, let's see how this goes. So this is my EMTB. It's a uh, Trek Rail 7 um, and, uh, and I've done about 1,500 miles on it in the first year of riding. Um, EMTBs are so much fun um, for cross country, for mountain biking. It's a big bike, it's huge, it's large size um, and it's got full 29 inch wheels on there. So to get this into the car, it's going to be quite difficult. Um, before, as you know, I used to have a BMW X5 and that was fairly easy to get it into. But having a uh, EMTB in a Tesla Model 3 which has no tow bars, no roof rack, it's just going to go into the boot. Let's see how this goes. So one of my first concerns are the pedals. They stick out quite widely, um, obviously not as far as the handlebars. The problem with the pedals are they have spikes on them um, you'll see that these are spikes um, and they're designed to go into your train into your mountain bike shoe to give you better grip um, they're metal spikes um, and they're all the way around they can easily cut up the fabric in the car so I need to make sure that they're protected so I've got socks all right so let's get these socks on And the other thing that we're gonna to need to do is get the seats down. So the other thing that we need to do is get the seats down. So we just pull that, that's now flat. I bought one of these mats um, from Amazon. Um, and the intention is with these mats is um, it then doesn't touch the carpet, it kind of goes up the side as well um, and then it just protects all the lining in the carpet um, completely um, and also goes up to the back side of the seat as well and it's velcro so it sticks on. Um, the reason why I've got a, uh, an old towel is so that the wheels, if they're going to touch the back seats, they, uh, they don't mark them. Right, let's get that sorted. Just found an old sweet. Save that for later. Right, time to get the bike in the car now. Oh, here we go. Nerve wracking. So the one thing about the bike is to make sure that your seat is all the way down so it's not up. So I'm gonna just rest that there and put it sideways. Always make sure you've got your gears facing up so it's not damaging them. There you can see that that tapped on there but no damage to paintwork because we've got, we got the socks on. All right, now we've got to try and move this in. Get the towel around this tire. Get that in, otherwise the boot won't close. Here's what happens when I try and close the boot. Tell a lie, it does close. So the purpose of today's video um, was to um, actually go out on a trip. 
But now you can see that we can get an EMTB, a large EMTB with 29 inch wheels inside the car um, fairly comfortably. Um, well, I wouldn't say fairly comfortably, but um, but it's in the car. So we're gonna do a different video on that and just around kind of EV riding, how I utilize things like the trunk, um, not the trunk, the frunk, for all of my dirty EMTB clothes and boots and things like that and how that's a really good, amazing godsend. Currently at the moment, I'm on 37% battery. Um, so 37% battery at the moment, I've let it run down and I've kind of based it on, you know, it might be a situation that I don't have a charger at home. I do have a charger at home, but I've let it run down. Now I've got to take my bike to be serviced um, to um, a place called Bracknell in Surrey um, and then I've got to go and buy my daughter uh, my stepdaughter a birthday cake and um, some cards it's her birthday tomorrow 13 um, so what I'm also going to do is use um, one of um, Tesla's newest feature which is multi distance journey or multi journeys um, and we're going to pop that in so my friend's going to give me his postcode of where I'm going. So, so the first part of the journey is going to be 32 miles from where I am in Surrey Hills over to Bracknell. And then what we want to do, oh, add a stop, there we are. Um, so we're gonna edit the trip. Right, so first we're gonna to go to this place over here near Slough, and then we're gonna to go to Crawley. Now if we tap on here, it should show what kind of battery we're looking at when we get there. Okay, so we're gonna to get to his place with 26% battery and we're gonna arrive in Crawley with only 9% battery. So I'm thinking that we're gonna to have to go to a supercharger. Now one of the tips that we can also do as well, it's seven degrees Celsius, it's raining. Let's see if we can get there. Um, I'm gonna use this feature called Trip which is gonna say that we're at 37% and we'll arrive at his place with only 26%. And this will tell me if we're on course or not, or if it's gonna get dangerously low. So this is where the range anxiety begins. See you when we get there. house who's going to be doing the uh, EMTB bike service. I've arrived with 26% 
we now need to get over to Crawley but we'll check out how that is next part of the video is let's see how easy it is to get any MTB out of the car we saw that it was quite <coughs> fiddly to get it in the car um, let's see how difficult it is to get it out of the car Okay, so that is the um, that's the mountain bike dropped off. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set myself to go to Crawley Supercharger. See if I just uh, let's just twist round. So we'll go to Crawley Supercharger. We got six stalls available. Um, so if we navigate there now. Let's see what the battery is going to be like. We're on 25% battery now. Let's see if we can get there. This is getting quite nerve wracking. So, oops, so it's just navigating us through. Let's just see battery when we arrive is going to be 6%. So yeah, 6% and we should get there. Um, at some point on this journey, it is going to start preconditioning the battery ready for the supercharger uh, so right let's get going so we are 34 miles away from Gatwick supercharger um, and one of the things that's come up at the top is preconditioning for fast charger so the car automatically knows that it's going off to a supercharger and the battery is deliberately warming itself up in preparation for that supercharger so that's just come on now 34 miles away from the supercharger that we should be arriving with 5% and hopefully there's some stalls free it looks quite busy so it reckons that we had 10 miles real world um, difference looking on the screen it reckoned 15 miles to the battery so this app will tell you kind of what what the real world estimate is and if I tap onto that from Bracknell to here 
Um, if I swipe up, I can see what the energy was, and we only achieved 317 watt hours per mile, so it's really not that good at all. Um, if we look at the other one, um, which was from where I live to um, to Bracknell, what was the journey there? That was 257. So we were obviously going down the hill because we live in Surrey Hills. We were going down the hill, but on the way back here, we were going up. Right, let's charge up. So that should go green. Now we'll go into the car. And let's see what we're going to charge at. So we can see there that we're going to be charging at 200 and 20 kilowatts at the moment so that's still climbing so we're up to nearly a thousand miles um, now it says it oh 20 miles I'm wondering how long all oh, right charge time 50 minutes so yeah so we're at 220 kilowatt hours charging not bad so it's 11.50, so technically that would be 12.40 by the time that's finished, so let's see what time that will be finished. So, while you're waiting for your car to charge up, um, you can just browse through Netflix, um, and you can just watch whatever content you want on there. Um, so, so the car's only been charging, what, 15 minutes? And we're already at 53%. So that's supercharge finished, 12.30. Took us 40 minutes to get to 90%. That's now given us a range of 304 miles. So really cool. Um, that was quite a good experience. So now off to Tesco's Gatwick to go and pick up birthday cards. Tesco's use something called pop points where I can plug into this. So if we get our included charger, which I keep under here in a big hole. Controls open. And that's going blue and green and choose B to confirm charge charge confirmed there we go batteries we only lost six percent coming back from Tesco's great that Tesco's was free and could charge all the way up the only problem is it's a slow charger the um, so what we learned today so we started at 36 percent we got all the way down to four percent we supercharged all the way up we've learned also that a, um, a full-size large EMTB will fit in the back of the Tesla as well um, not sure what my next video is going to be um, about, but uh, I would imagine it's probably going to be um, doing things with um, electric vehicles such as electric mountain bike and skateboard. Um, but we shall see. Uh, thanks very much for watching all the way to the end. Uh, please like and subscribe. Any comments that you have, really grateful to receive them. Cheers, guys.